Welcome back to another video by Mr. Project. In today's video, we are gonna continue on with the sound system. Let's go and check out what I've done. Since the last video, I have pulled out the floor and I have wrapped it in carpet. It actually came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the way that's come up. So now we're gonna continue on wrapping our back piece that's gonna go into our sub box and our subs are gonna go onto that and then we're gonna make our side walls along with wrapping our back piece which is there so let's uh let's get started i'll go and get the carpet and we'll wrap it and we'll stick it in the car and we'll see how it looks Just finished off the back piece, it's now in the car. It's all looking pretty good, I'm pretty happy with it. Not too bad at all. That's it there, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the side pieces and then we will wrap the front of that and we'll get that done. And um, side pieces are gonna be the hardest thing because I don't really have a template for them. But we'll get it done and once all of that's done then we're gonna wire in the stereo and the sound system and go from there and hopefully then after it's all done let's get it done now i've got the front of the sub box on with the subs on it it's all coming together looking pretty good so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this side piece wrap that and then this one here is going to be a bit harder because there's another angle down there that i've got to cut and then once that's done I will mount the battery box back there. I've run the cable up through the floor. And then I'm going to start wiring everything up. And I'm going to probably hide the amp somewhere where you can't see it. Hopefully it'll all work. Let's go and do it. Bit of mess going on everywhere. Crap all over the cars and over the bench. But, so what I've done is, was I didn't make this long enough. This is the first time I've, I've made anything like this. So expect to make mistakes, nobody's perfect. So I've added an extension on here. You can just see there's one staple there. But if I didn't point that out, you know, you're never gonna notice that. So, I need to make my panel for there, which I've already done. Um, and there used to be a bit of a gap, about a two finger gap here. So what I did was, it's all gonna be covered up. I've just stapled on some pieces there to fill in the gap. And now we're gonna wrap that and that should tuck in nicely over there. Then once that side's done, we'll have to do this side, which is gonna be a bit of a pain, but we'll get it done. And then um, we'll wire the whole thing up. Let's get it done. piece to the puzzle or well, one of the last pieces I should say it's definitely not the last let's have a look how she looks eh? just fit the last piece in one of the last pieces I should say it's not the last still have to make that side it's all coming together pretty good if you ask me I think it looks great now seems so that part's done we're on to the hard side we're gonna have to cut it out and make the battery fit into it, into the side panel, which is gonna be very fiddly, but we should be able to get it done. Then once all of it's done, I'm gonna end up gluing a nice bit of gray carpet over this, but I don't have any glue at the moment, so that will be one of the last things I do. 
But let's move on, make that piece. And once that piece is made, then we're going to figure out where we're going to put the amp. And then we're going to wire it all in and put the new head unit in. But I think it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Got the battery box mounted in the car. Now I'm going to have to make a piece and cut it out around the battery box and hopefully it all fits. Let's get it done. End of the day, we've got it all together. It all looks pretty good, I'm pretty happy with it. Still just got stuff laying everywhere, which I've got to tidy up. Haven't wired it in yet, but I'm pretty much just gonna wrap it up here because it's a lot of work to wire it in. Don't know if I'm gonna leave the amp there or not. That's just there to give me a rough idea on whether or not I should hide it. What do you guys reckon? Should I leave it there or should I hide it? Pretty happy with the outcome. It all looks pretty good. Not too bad at all. Well, thanks again for uh, tuning in and watching another episode of Mr. Project. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you guys on the next one. See you later. I've had a fair few questions about the sound system install. If you want to know anything else, drop a comment or contact me on my Facebook page, Mr. Project. I'm more than happy to help anyone looking for information on how to do this yourself all of this stuff that I bought to do this I bought from my local Bunnings so it's not a hard project and uh, if you want to see me wiring this sound system leave a comment and uh, you never know I could make a video